Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And today, um, with the custom ROM on my Pixel 6a, I'm just going to show you guys how I went ahead and customized it. There's a lot of functionality in this custom ROM. One of the first things that I demoed this morning was face unlock, and it, it does work. Um, and again, you guys can see this is a Pixel 6a, and face unlock is working on it. So, And it works like where it doesn't unlock if your eyes are closed. So I'm going to close my eyes right now. It tells you can't recognize face. Eyes open, it unlocks. So that's pretty cool. But you can also double up and, um, well, saw my face. So you can use a biometric uh, fingerprint sensor if you want to. Um, so I have the icons and everything pretty much uh, themed um, using the Evolver. And that's one of the things that comes with Evolution X. Uh, this is also on the Pixel 5 too as well. But um, if you go to settings, you have like so many things that you can actually mess around with to just kind of personalize your uh, Pixel, um, Pixel 6a if you have one. And so, yeah, so this is the Evolver. There's uh, different things you could do here. There's themes, status bar, notifications, quick settings, power menu, gestures, lock screen, buttons, miscellaneous, and the team. And I'm going to give a shout out to the team. These are the team members that um, built this ROM. So big shout out to them. But okay, let's kind of get into it with it. So uh, themes is very simple, clear cut. Um, there's font styles, so you can change, like if you guys wanna know how I got my font to look like this, this is it. If you guys wanna see how many fonts there are, there are so many fonts um, that you can choose from. Uh, I like this one, so I keep it at that. Um, the icon pack refers to like, you know, the Wi-Fi symbol, the airplane mode and all that other stuff. Um, you can definitely change it. That's what I have mine set to. But you can also individually uh, set it up like the Wi-Fi icon style. I went with the wind. But these are all the different ones that you could use for your Wi-Fi indicator to let you know that you are on Wi-Fi and that it's connected. Um, yeah, there's some interesting ones. And um, aside from that, icon shape. Literally, you can you can even make your icons in the shape of that on your home screen. Um, so like rice ball, pebble. You have the iOS. So if I tap that, then uh, literally, if I go back, now all my icons would look like the shape of like iOS icons. Um, I'll leave it there for right now. Um, we have like the volume panel, and you can choose different ones. There's like the revamped uh, AOS P UI style. They got the style from the Realme um, user interface, stock Android interface, double layer style, gradient. Um, there's just different ones. So you can always just choose what your volume slider will look like on the display. The nav bars, you can like, if you decide to use three button nav, um, you can definitely switch it up. You know, you have the default, there's this uh, Android one right here. I think that's pretty cool because the Android guy's like at the bottom. Um, you even had the old Nexus nav bar with the back arrow, the triangle up and that. Um, even taking OnePlus's uh, style and even One UI and, you know, the old, um, what was it called? No, TouchWiz, the old TouchWiz style. So you can do that. I have gestures on, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> um, anyways, for quick settings, it's actually pretty cool. Um, you literally can uh, change, you know, like how many rows in landscape and, you know, how many rows are in a portrait, calling how many columns. You could do that. Um, where I got this, so if I scroll down at the very top right here, if you see that animation, well, that image, actually not animation, but that image, um, that's where I replace it right here. So you go into QS um, header image, and then you can choose one of their stock images to replace up there. Or you can add an image of your own if you want. Um, that's the one that I have up there. You literally change it up. Um, there's something for everybody. So that's actually pretty cool. You can select a local image. So go through your photos. Um, you can have a no tint. You can add an accent tint, primary color, inverse, custom color. You can do whatever you want up there. So that's actually pretty nice that you can do that. Um, and just kind of, you know, make sure your phone just really stand out. I mean, come on now. 
that's pretty cool. Instead of just seeing it all black up there, you got a nice little image to just kind of like go with it. Like I said, customization is one of the, one of the things that this ROM focused on. Um, anyways, so you have the uh, power menu. If you press the power button, you can add a little bit more than just, you know, power off, restart. Um, there are other things you can do. So um, you can turn on settings to be in your power menu, emergency mode, device controls, users. If you have like user profiles, you can switch from like your personal to your business. You have all these things you can play around with. That's actually pretty nice. And then uh, in miscellaneous, it has things like spoofing, enable spoofing for specific features within the ROM, um, you know, calculate rendering jitter, ignore window secure flags, allow application downgrade, show CPU info, sensor. So you have all these cool things that you can customize uh, within the Evolver. Um, one of the things I did mention this morning is that, um, and this is actually pretty cool. So I'll go into uh, my, um, sim information show you guys a couple of cool things here right so besides just being able to switch from 5g to lte um you're able to do that if you want to like when you prefer network types you can do that you also have it where you can force lte carrier aggregation to work um you can also turn on use of 5g for voice calls i don't know how well that's going to go but you know i'm, I'm going to probably try it out um yeah, you have uh, carrier video calling. I think Metro still supports that. I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's that's some cool things, you know, to find there. Um, as far as app-wise, so you have basic call recorder, and this is pretty cool. Call recording incoming and outgoing phone calls, microphone notification permissions are required for re recording in the background. You can toggle that on. So when you get phone calls, you can record those conversations for notes. You know, keep a backup of those things. Um, it also comes with what they call papers. These are different wallpapers created by the developers that you can use for your wallpaper. It also sets the tone to kind of like, you know, theme um, throughout the material UUI. So taking a little bit to load there, but they have different ones that you can use. But the other cool thing is, is uh, when you go to wallpapers and styles, um, and you hit more wallpapers, you got AI wallpapers and you can go through that. Uh, when you decide to choose them, like say I choose night, um, if I tap on a specific word, maybe I can change that out and put, you know, red and then create wallpaper and just let it do its thing. And um, it will create a wallpaper for you based off of what you described. So you have various different ones. I think these are nice. So I'll probably, uh, let's see, that looks pretty cool. So I'll switch out flowers and maybe I'll do clouds and we'll let it do its thing and come up with something pretty nice. And whoa, that's actually really nice. I like those. Those are beautiful. Some beautiful wallpapers, honestly. Um, if you want to choose it, just hit the check right there and hit um, set wallpaper. And now my wallpaper looks like that. So that's actually pretty cool. There is a ton of things that you can do in this ROM in itself. But one of the things that I am very impressed about is just how snappy it is. It doesn't give you the option, like if you go on display, it doesn't give you the option to step it up to like, you know, 90 Hertz refresh or any of that. Um, I'll show you guys real quick in display settings. So yeah, you don't get that. Um, what you do get, I think it's here, but you got smart pixels, uh, which, you know, allows you to uh, basically save more battery, right? So if you use smart pixels, it kind of just, you know, it turns off pixels that's not, that's not needed to actually get you like a real, you know, like deep black. But as you guys can see, it kind of uh, makes it really dim. Um, but this is good if you want to save battery. If you know you're going to be on a long haul without a way to charge your device, you can do the smart pixel mode and just pixels that's not in use will actually get turned off rather than, you know, change to the color of what it's supposed to like. If it's supposed to be black, instead of emulating a black color, it'll just turn off to create that natural black color on your screen and wallpaper. So that's actually nice. Um, and it'll save on battery. 
But anyways, this is just some of the things I wanted to show you guys with the Evolution X custom ROM on my Pixel 6a. Um, like I said, I still got to play around with it and discover more things about it that I can share with you guys. Uh, sadly and unfortunately, I haven't found one for the Pixel 5a, at least with this version of Android 14. Otherwise, I would have flashed it on the Pixel 5a. I thought there would be one because they have one for the Pixel 5, but uh, go figure. Anyways, this is uh, just a brief cap of uh, Evolution X and some of the things you can do to customize it. So yeah, my Android device, my Pixel 6a, it's one of a kind. And I love the fact that it's got the face unlock, just like my Pixel 7a.